Democracy today. Uh, and it's a, uh, yeah, it's a great, uh, very happy to have Bob Chen with us. If I could just give a quick introduction on Galaxy, some, some highlights and statistics. They have uh, over 4 million plus Galaxy users. They have uh, over half a million active on-chain unique users on 10 blockchains. Over 770 plus organizations and DAOs are using Galaxy for Web3 and marketing and growth hacking. On average, about 1.5 million NFTs are minted monthly on Galaxy. Uh, over 400 plus uh, Twitter followers and over 200 plus uh, Discord members. Um, so yeah, quite quite impressive. Um, and uh, at Traveler.com, uh, we're an OTA. Uh, we accept the cryptocurrencies, over 80 plus cryptocurrencies, uh, and uh, we you're able to book over 3 million plus travel products with us. So that's a little bit about the company. And today uh, we have a special guest with us, uh, Bob Chen. Uh, he is the uh, head of uh, ecosystem development and also founding member of Galaxy HQ, uh, founder and GP of Stream Capital, mentor, builder, investor. Um, so happy to have you with us today. And uh, we also have, of course, uh, Shane, uh, from who is the head of business development at traveler.com. So, uh, yeah, welcome everyone. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, hey, Jake, how are you doing, man? I'm good. How are you guys? Yeah, very well. Uh, thanks for joining us. Bob was having some uh, some issues with his connection. Um, I, I suppose you're joining us to uh, carry on with the conversation. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, if, if Bob can jump in, he'll jump in. But uh, yeah, happy to be here. Sure. Uh, dude, thanks so much for jumping on. Uh, could you give a little bit? Yeah. So before you came on, uh, we gave a little bit of an introduction to uh, Galaxy and uh, also to Chabla.com. Could you perhaps uh, share a little bit about yourself and then, uh, yeah, we can jump in and, and just, uh, yeah, start having a bit of a conversation. Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to. So my name is Jake. I'm from, uh, you know, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I reside in Miami now. I, you know, first got into crypto about a year and a half, two years ago, where I worked at Republic. Um, which is, you know, a, a crypto venture firm, a token sale platform. But I was more so on the, the retail crowdfunding side, um, helping all types of startups and helping, you know, blockchain NFT startups raise capital. And then um, I came to Galaxy about five months ago uh, as a BD lead, started off on, on BD and client relations. And yeah, transitioned more to, to a BD role now, but really loving my time. Awesome, man. Moving forward and coming out on the roadmap. Right on, Jake. Hey, man, nice to see you again. Um, last time I saw you was in uh, in Austin, Texas there. Uh, so nice to be back on uh, on a call with you. Yeah, always good to connect, Shane. Always great. Hey, uh, last uh, so when we were uh, chatting with Bob there, uh, a question that I asked him was kind of just, just to start this off here is, you know, you're formerly known as Project Galaxy and you could re uh, recently just undergone a name change to Galaxy. I uh, wanted to see kind of what that what that change really meant for you guys and how that has pivoted your business. Yeah, definitely. So oh man. Wow. What's going on? Can you guys hear me? Uh yeah, hello? dude. Um, are you yep, hello. Yep. It seems like uh, the US is so, having yeah, uh, we, we love yeah. We, uh, we love the Galaxy brand, but, you know, we, we figured that right now w w was a good time to rebrand, kind of change things up, especially, you know, uh, during a bear market. So we went, you know, underwent the rebrand, months of planning, uh, uh, something that we were really excited about. And, you know, we received really, really nice feedback from the community. And, you know, next week is Token 2049 in Singapore. We're having a great party out there called our Galaxy Odyssey. It's going to celebrate our rebrand and we're going to have a celebration, you know, with all of our partners and, uh, and all of our friends. But yeah, it's, it's the start of a new chapter, something really exciting and really, you know, looking forward to, to showing off the Galaxy brand uh, moving forward. Oh, that's killer, man. Um, yeah, another. Uh, and, you know, somebody asked in the uh, in the community already, what is uh, what is Galaxy? And I was able to kind of touch on the fact that you guys are a, a leader in the space for Web3 credentialing. So if you wouldn't mind just touching on what Web3 credentialing is and what that means for the future of um, decentralized technology and basically the community that we're building as a whole um, directly from you, that'd be great. Yeah. So credentials are super, super important, you know, in this space because in Web3, it, it's tough to grow. It's tough to really, you know, 
find your audience to, you know, attract users and, and with credentials, it's a footprint of your every move on the blockchain and off the blockchain. So Wait, or a company that's looking to grow from the community side or the on-chain side, what we can do, we can help them credential that data so they can start tracking the user journey, the user footprint, understand who their users are, uh, you know, so they can reward, uh, really reward accordingly. But, you know, it's exciting because there really wasn't a solution, you know, in the space in, until we came in. And what we can do from the, the partner side is give them access to our community of 5 million plus users and, you know, help them drive growth to their protocol by incentivizing actions to do, you know, a lot of great things on the user side where we're kind of this discovery protocol where users are going to come to Galaxy, find incredible protocols to participate in, amazing campaigns, and really, you know, hopefully find something new and, you know, a protocol where they can coming back. So that's doing from, you know, the user side and the, uh, and, and the partner side. Yeah, cool. It's, a, it's been really cool to see you guys grow, uh, knowing that you've been around for a couple of years now. Uh, but the, the token actually didn't even get launched until May of this year. Um, so maybe uh, maybe touch on the, uh, on the on the growth, the ecosystem, the community before the token was actually launched, because now you've got distribution channels for the actual token in a number of tier one exchanges. Um, what was it like building up the, the community and the uh, and the product lines well before uh, an actual token launch? Yeah, absolutely. It was really fun. Um, you know, we were figuring out how can we, you know, build up a loyal community. And once we build up a loyal community, what's the best way to reward them once we release our token? You know, what's the best way to reward the Project Galaxy community from users that have participated in, you know, each of the uh, uh, each of the Galaxy loyalty campaigns really from the start of 2021? So, you know, we just kept building products, you know, uh, building different parts of the community, uh, engaging with different parts of the community and, you know, you know, it really worked out for us. We, we I think the, the really cool thing about it was we listened to the community in terms of what they were looking for in the roadmap, what they wanted in Galaxy, the partners that they wanted to, you know, that they uh, that they wanted on Galaxy. So I think, you know, being able to listen to the community, understand your community, finding out what's important to them, uh, you know, was really important for when our token launched. And, you know, I think everybody everybody was very excited about it. Uh, you know, it did well. And we're, we're really excited, you know, moving forward with the uh, the exchanges we're partnered with. So. It's uh, it's it's really super exciting, and it it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, and just the and just to chime in uh, on from a community perspective, um, really glad to hear that you guys were very community and user focused, uh, and really zeroed in on things that were important to the community. If you could just unpack that just a little bit, what were maybe one or two things that came out uh, that were especially important to the uh, to the community and to the users of uh, Galaxy. Hey, Jacob, can you repeat that one more time, please? Sorry. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, uh, so you sort of mentioned that uh, you guys really sort of uh, took a community-focused uh, approach. So, yeah, I would love to hear what were one or two things that came out uh, that were important uh, to the com to your specific uh, community. We would love to, to hear a bit more about that. Yeah, definitely. I, I think, you know, a, a few things that came out was, you know, being able to reward, you know, user actions, in our Discord and in our Twitter, where users, you know, were actually rewarded for participating in Discord, whether it was attending an AMA, we were giving badges out, you know, whether it was joining a Discord, you know, whether it was credentialing certain roles or channels in a Discord. Um, I think being able to reward for, you know, certain engagement, um, certain actions inside the Discord where people feel, you know, they felt important, they felt, okay, well, I'm doing X, and now I can get a badge that says I did X, Y, Z. And now what's cool about it is I have something that I can show off for it. There's something that I can represent based off my actions. So I would say, you know, just implementing, you know, our Twitter tools like that, not only for our partners, but also for us where we can start rewarding the community. And, you know, we have our, our, our galaxy brains, our pathfinders, which is, you know, our high level roles in our community. And, you know, it, it, they're very special users to us because, you know, they're very, their input's very valuable. They know how to interact with the galaxy community and they're very good at relaying information from the broader community to us where we can take that information and say, okay, well, you know, the community likes this, or maybe they're upset about this. How can we approach them about it? What's the best course of action? And, you know, what, wh what's the best way to communicate with them and how can we get our, you know, you know, our message across and, you know, we, they can know that their message is, is being heard, their message is being delivered and we're able to act on, you know, the certain things that, you know, they're looking for. 
Yeah, super cool that you're able to take such a community centric approach, um, especially when it comes to rewarding people for their um, for their presence, their participation in certain things like Twitter, Discord, and community driven approaches. Um, now, I did see that you've launched the uh, the passport, the Galaxy Passport. How does that credentialing build into the future of the passport? Definitely. Um, the passport, you know, it's uh, it's one of my favorite products, one of my favorite tools. It uh, a lot of work went into it, a lot of planning. And what I really love about it, I, I really think, you know, um, we're changing the space, you know, one day at a time, one step at a time where this is, you know, it's completely anonymous and we're not stealing anyone's information. We're not, you know, storing anyone's information. The user owns their information. They hold their keys. They're the only ones that decrypt it. We're just giving them the, bil the ability to verify that they're a real individual. So when these protocols come onto Galaxy, they're running these campaigns. They know that, you know, it, they're, they, it's kind of, you know, they know that they're working with real users. So if they're doing airdrops, they can be, you know, worry free that they're going to be rewarding the real, honest, hardworking people. Um, so the passport's really great. And basically, it's just a credential that once they verify, you know, their information, uh, they're put, that wallet address is pulled into the credential. There's a soul bound NFT minted to that wallet address. And basically, the really exciting thing about it is it's universal. So it's not only, you know, great in the Galaxy ecosystem, but what's really great about it is that it can be used in many other ecosystems, whether there's, you know, INOs, ICOs, IDOs. These platforms can use the Galaxy Passport as a credential or as a way to KYC users because they're going to have to do it anyway, you know, on their platform. They may as well leverage the Passport where, you know, they can have all these Galaxy users. They know they're verified. They went through government, you know, um, you know ID, self-verification, and now they can participate in these really great things. And uh, it was a great it was a great success that we had 20,000 passports minted in two days, 48 hours. The passport, you know, it's a week old. So if you haven't got your passport, uh, go get it yet. Galaxy.com backslash passport. We're giving out, you know, uh, the first 100,000 mints are free. Yeah, fantastic. And that's that's super interesting that it's got all the KYC data in there as well, because, um, you know, I, I it was it was a few years ago now that I was working in digital identity back in Vancouver. And that was when you were starting to see the guidance of the Financial Action Task Force or FATF. And they were talking about the travel, the travel rule or the emergence of the travel rule. So being able to have that universal key of the KYC data for your INOs, I, uh, IDOs, whatever it may be, to start entering into those crowdfunding raises. Um, super interesting that you guys are administering to the, uh, to the travel rule for full compliance as well. That's, so that's great. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we're looking forward to, you know, evolving the passport even more where, you know, our partners can kind of, you know, leverage our SDK and it can be taken, you know, the, the verification project um, process can be, you know, done externally, you know, on a partner's website. So there's really no external redirection. Uh, it's a seamless process. So, there's a lot of cool, you know, things coming out with the passport over the next few weeks and months. And we're looking forward to, you know, having other partners uh, take advantage of the passport and really be able to leverage it for their for their protocol for for compliance purposes. But I think, you know, at this time, we're the largest, you know, uh, on chain KYC solution. <clears throat> and was that always the plan to be uh, the, the, the largest online chain or online uh, or sorry, on chain compliance solution? Or did that evolve over time since the launch? Uh, have you just have you kind of rolled with the punches and, and evolved based on the market demand or was that always the vision from the creation of a project? So, Galaxy at the time? I think we, it's, we kind of roll with the punches. We didn't really expect, you know, to have, you know, this type of success early on. We, we had about 10,000 passports minted out um, in the first day. But really, the goal was how, you know, being able to provide our partners with, you know, the, the best tools possible. For them to grow on chain and off chain the best tools possible to run for them to run these amazing campaigns and we thought you know if we can do that you know we're going to be really successful you know our partners are going to love us you know they're going to be able to grow um, our users are going to be able to you know uh be rewarded properly and correctly so i think we kind of roll with the punches but uh yeah it, it's been a you know a big success and uh it's more so just being able to provide you know high value for our partners, amazing value for our partners. And, you know, that's what we strive to do. And this, we kind of just roll with the punches up to this point. All right on. Um, and, you know, the, the, the market's getting wrecked right now. Um, <laughs> and, 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 you know, you, uh, I know the team's just like head down in their building. Um, hence, like even the rollout of the passport and the success that you're seeing there. 
you know, leading up to this point, I know that you guys were rolling out a ton of uh, a ton of monthly NFTs. Uh, is that still on a growth trajectory, or is, where where are you uh, seeing NFTs being so close to it as you are? Yeah, I think you know NFTs are really essential to what we're going to keep doing in this space. Where you know the NFTs are badges that represent what the user's done, uh, kind of utility badges where you know. It's great from the, you know, the partner perspective and also to see who's done what. And also from the user perspective, as I mentioned earlier, the on-chain stuff. But I think, yeah, it, obviously the market's bad, but, you know, no one wants a bad market. But I think it's just important to kind of, you know, zoom out, understand what you're doing, what you're building, who you're working with. Uh, just, you know, having confidence, believing in, in, in the product. And uh, I, I think at Galaxy, you know, that, that's really something that, that, that we have is just confidence in what we're doing. We really love, uh, you know working together. Uh, everybody works extremely hard. We all have the same vision and goal. So I think, yeah, you know, short term, the, you know, the, the market is is not looking too hot. But I think, you know, long term, it's uh, at least I can feel the value that, you know, Galaxy brings every day to a user a user perspective and a partner's perspective. And, uh, you know, it feels good to be able to, to, to work on something really, really great um, that, that can impact uh, someone's business, really taking it from zero to 100 and helping them out in ways that maybe they didn't think was possible. Maybe they didn't know what credentials were in the, you know, in the past. But once they come to Galaxy and they're like, wow, you know, these tools are great. They're really seamless. And um, the cool thing is, you know, we have a self-serve dashboard once you understand how to use it. So everybody's so busy in this space, but they can come to Galaxy and, you know, feel good about what they're doing, uh, you know, while they have a lot of other stuff on their plate. Yeah, and you know what? I, uh, a part of the reason why I wanted to bring you onto the live stream here today is because you know there's a ton of value that you bring to the uh, or to the ecosystem as a whole. Um, and looking forward in Web three credentialing, I know how important it uh, it actually is. So getting getting your perspective on it is 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 also important. Um, now with this like self serve dashboard, and you know you're you're kind of creating your on chain identity, right? And as you start to see the uh, on-chain identities evolve, you kind of want to, uh, it, you can see it as almost your LinkedIn profile because it's also uh, also going to be relatively, you can you can pub, uh, publicize it as well, right? Um, what in building your on-chain identity, is there any sort of best practices um, to actually evolving yourself within your uh, your on-chain credentialing, uh, whether it be participating in communities or participating in, uh, in in Twitter feeds or being part of more of a uh, community centric um, uh, like on-chain activity is is there any best practices around that that you can see yeah I, I think the best practices are you know just really participate you know as you said in these type of campaigns in these Twitter you know uh, spaces in, in these you know like retweet credentials and then also on the discord side where you're joining the discord and, and you're attending AMAs in a discord I think the best way to you know build up your galaxy ID is just you know doing these certain actions participating in these certain campaigns and you know maybe that you, you weren't able to get rewarded for these certain actions before but now you can you know really build up a profile of everything that you're doing and the great thing about it is it's super easy. So once you actually complete these certain tasks or you join Discord or you follow Twitter, we really we can pull that data in, you know, automatically. It syncs to your Galaxy ID and, you know, you'll have your OATS, your on-chain achievement tokens, your NFTs and a, a, literally a list of credentials from which you become eligible for. So I think in terms of best practices, it's just, you know, uh, becoming really familiar with what Galaxy ID is, the functionality of it is. Uh, and, and also, you know, our credentials just, uh, you know, going into these Twitter spaces, these Discord AMAs, and just getting as much exposure as possible. Um, so I, th I think that's, you know, in terms of best practices, just being familiar with the credentials and, and the way Galaxy operates and, you know, the way that, you know, Galaxy ID pulls that, that information in. Yeah, so you mentioned you got 20,000 uh, 20, uh, minted already. Uh, what's the benefit of getting in here early? Yeah. So the benefit for, you know, the passporting and, and getting in here early is more so, well, first off, the hun first 100,000 mints are free. Um, after that, there's going to be a small fee, you know, uh, in, in BNB. And it's also, you know, these partners are running these campaigns with the passport right now. Um, and obviously the passport is optional. It's not mandatory. It's more so like not, it's not for everybody. And we understand that. And, and it's OK. But we wanted to, you know, provide, you know, the, the option for users to, you know, um, mint the passport if, 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 you know, that's what they wanted. But you're going to be missing out if you're not getting, you know, the passport right now based off the partners that are running campaigns, you know. So I think not having the passport right now 
it's you're just missing out on, 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 you know, some cool drops, some cool, you know, campaigns to participate in. And also you want to be able to make sure uh, to, to get the passport before those hundred thousand mints are out. And, you know, we, we did 20,000 in, in, in two days. So um, they're, they're going quick. Yeah. So with, with some of the, uh, the partnership campaigns that you have going on um, and let's say these on-chain achievement tokens that you're going to, uh, that people are going to be getting, are they m mainly for show? Uh, is this going to just build up your credibility within web three or is there going to be any tangible benefit to these, uh, to these tokens? Is it something that people are going to get rewarded for airdrops? Uh, what are, what are partners really doing with these? Absolutely. So I think there's two perspectives, uh, you know, two sides of it. One is that there's actual utility and, you know, based off users engagement, a user's participate, uh, participation in a certain protocol on chain and off chain um, and their campaigns, you will get rewarded, um, whether it's, you know, maybe early beta access, a whitelist spot, maybe it's allocation to a certain, you know, token airdrop. Maybe it's a USDC or USDT reward. Um, there's definitely utility, you know, attached to it. It's more so just um, you know, what type of utility is it? When will a utility come into play? Is it going to be utility in the first campaign? Or is it more so, okay, well, you participate in 10 campaigns. Um, we've had 20 of them. If you participated in 50% of them, you will get some special utility. So maybe there's not utility tied to it directly, or maybe it's not announced right away. But, you know, participating in, in those campaigns, um, you know, collecting these NFTs and these oats will show, you know, the partners, hey, you know, this is what I've done in your protocol, you know, now you can reward accordingly. And I think the other side of it, which is more the badge uh, and, and just being able to show it off. There's also, you know, a lot of partners like to do that as well, especially for the off chain campaigns where it's like, you know, we're going to give out badges for attending our AMAs. Um, maybe it's even like a badge for, for, you know, something like this or another space where a user can show, hey, you know, I attended this, this call on September 20th, um, 2022. And, you know, it's just something nice, you know, for them to collect up these, you know, pieces, uh, these badges to show hey, I have attended all these AMAs. This is what I've done. Because um, the thing is, it, it, they're not going out of their way to do this. It, it, they can collect it very seamlessly, very easily. So I think, you know, um, there's definitely a lot of utility, whether it's tied, you know, now or in the future, or it's more so just, okay, we're just going to give you, you know, loyalty badges based off reaching a certain tier in the protocol, whether it's like bronze, silver, or tier based on, you know, predefined criteria. Yeah, and I guess as a partner, you don't even really need to, you don't need to figure it out what you're going to be doing with the NFTs until a later date. Um, exactly. And, and being able to offer out those rewards for uh, the amount of community commitment to your, whether it be protocol or token or uh, the ecosystem, right? Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. I, I think that's the great thing about it. You know, there's obviously people that, you know, come in and they speculate on airdrops and maybe what this NFT means and what it doesn't mean. But I think, you know, you're really able to filter all that out with one, the passport, and two, you know, just seeing who's participating in five or 10 of your campaigns, um, you know, uh, and, and that right there really is the best way to reward somebody, you know, a consistent, you know, uh, user in your protocol, in your campaign, somebody who's consistently engaging with you. So one, one of the questions that a community member may have um, is you, you get the, you made the passport, and you connect to Twitter and you connect to Discord, how much of that information is actually going to be filtered into the passport? Um, so like if you're, if you're connecting any sort of Discord, Twitter, uh, are your tweets going to filter into this or your community or is, are your uh, Discord contributions going to be uh, recorded into this or are they, is it kind of marked down as a um, kind of a check mark that you, contributed in a meaningful way to a, uh, to a community. Yeah, definitely. So I think, you know, you have two separate things here. One's the passport and then one's the galaxy ID, but in terms of the, the discord and Twitter actions, you're tying your discord ID, you know, your Twitter ID to this galaxy ID. So once you do complete those actions, they get marked down, you know, they get pulled in automatically pretty much instantaneously as you complete them. You know, the galaxy passport is just that soul bound token that, that, that really gets minted after completing, you know, um, you know, the KYC process. But yeah, they're, they're two separate things, but the passport does live, live under the Galaxy ID, but all those Twitter, all those Discord actions get filtered into your Galaxy ID. And that's what makes your Galaxy ID. You really, you know, said it perfectly earlier. It's your on-chain resume, your LinkedIn of Web3, where you can really show off, you know, what you've done. And you can also, there's a, file, a social aspect to it. Profile, you know, PFP pictures, um, someone who is uh, following you, you know, you can follow them, they could follow you. So I think, um, you know, Th those are the, 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 the those are the things that the Twitter and, and the Discord are pulling to. Now, kind of a, a just you know, 
it's maybe a little bit off topic, but how how early do you think that recruiters may start actually looking uh, looking at the, your Web three credentialing for hiring purposes? You know, that's a, that's a great question. Um, I think I think it's soon. I think it really depends, you know, on, on who the recruiter is in the agency. But the ones that are ahead of the game, the ones that understand the space, um, you know, and also Galaxy and credentialing as a whole, they'll be looking at it. Where more so, it's like if you do have an interview, I think it's a really, really great thing to share before the interview, where a, you know a recruiter can check you out and say, "Oh, wow, you know, here's their on-chain resume, here's their credential, this is what they've collected." Now I know that they're actually, you know, they know what Web three is, you know, they know what credentials it is instead of just showing up to the interview. And, you know, maybe, you know, they don't have, you sound good, but they don't have anything on paper that you've actually, you know, you know, know what a wallet is. You've connected a wallet. You created something um, based off your, 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 your achievements and actions, you know, in the space on Galaxy. So I think, um, I think it's, you know, not too far away. I don't know how soon it is, but I, I think the recruiters that, you know, are, are more ahead of the game uh, will definitely, you know, at least figure out, okay, well, what's their on-chain resume? Because your, your on-chain resume you know, why it, it should be just as important as your off-chain resume. Yeah, honestly, the, it, this is something that I've been thinking about quite a bit is it's just if you're going into it's a way of breaking the ice. So you're yep. not going in and starting fresh and somebody's not going to be reading what you've actually uh, self-proclaimed on a piece of paper. This is something that has been authenticated on the blockchain. Um, you have participated in X, Y and Z and something that you can push in front of them beforehand. And then after that is all conversation and um, understanding the fit for the role. So, yeah, it was just it was something that was uh, just, you know, back in my mind. And I thought that you you're probably the perfect person to ask about it, too. Definitely. Yeah. And I think, you know, the cool thing is we can definitely add some more functionality to it, you know, in the future where it's like, OK, we'll maybe share this on LinkedIn, you know, share this very seamlessly on, on, on different social profiles. But as you said, um, you know, it's completely, you know, true. It's completely accurate. So. As a recruiter, you can feel good about looking at something like this. And, you know, as, as a user, you can feel good um, about showing, you know, a, a, a recruiter this or, or um, you know, a, a different job uh, about everything that you completed in the space. Very cool. Jacob, do you want to jump in there for a question? Uh, yeah, no, just wanted to elaborate a little bit. Yeah, it's it's great to hear that uh, you guys are really exploring uh, the Web3 profiles. And yeah, really just seeing it happen, I think is exciting because I think right now, most people are still in the Web2 space. Like, uh, And certainly uh, before me joining Traveler.com, they looked at my LinkedIn and they looked at my social media. Um, but that's that stuff all lives on Web2. Like they looked at my Instagram, they looked at my uh, LinkedIn. Um, so it's really quite exciting to see how things will transition and how uh, employees will start looking at uh, web free profiles and also how, uh, you know, uh, everyday individuals, users, uh, community members, you know, how can they build up a, a good web free uh, profile? Um, those are interesting things to think about. Yeah. Definitely. And I think, you know, the Galaxy Passport comes into play here and it's like, okay, well, if you've been a passport, now it's like, you know, that there's a real human behind this wallet. So it, it's even, you know, a higher level of comfortability. Yeah, and there's going to be some interesting rollouts as well. And you know, it, um, uh, we've we're we publicly announced that we're going to be rolling out our, our uh, travel passport as well. Um, so we're going to be um, we're going to be minting the uh, the booking data on the uh, on the blockchain as well. Um, something that we're going to be rolling out later this year. So it's uh, we're pretty excited about the power of of NFTs within the travel space too. Um, but I guess the uh, – do you have any questions for us here, Jake? Um, you know, I think one thing is I can't wait to mint my Travala passport. But, you know, in, in terms of, of questions for you guys, I, I don't think I have too many on, on my end, but I, I am really looking forward to, to continuing this partnership. Uh, we really love Travala. We love what you guys are doing. Uh, we love the people over there. Um, it's always, you know, great to see you guys in person and reconnect again. But uh, – yeah, no, really looking forward to, to continuing this partnership moving forward. It's, it's been really a pleasure so far. Yeah, pleasure's all ours. Um, and you know what? Uh, I, I'm a little bit bummed that I'm going to be missing the party that you guys are throwing, the launch party that you're going to be throwing at Token 2049. Uh, we're the, uh, the travel partners of Token 2049, and our, our, uh, our, found, or our co-founders are going to be there, CEO and COO. Um, but yeah, you know what? 
Galaxy throws a hell of a party. I was uh, I was at one of them in uh, in Austin, Texas. I uh, had a great time there. A lot of great folks. Uh, made some great great connections. So uh, I'm I'm a little bit bummed that I'm going to be missing that one there, Jake. Yeah, definitely. Well, the good thing is, you know, we, we seem uh, you know to to throw uh, quite a few of them. So there will be more to come. And uh, yeah, we'll, you'll definitely be missed for sure. Well, hey, uh, I really appreciate you coming on the call here and filling in with Bob. I know that was just uh, it, was, it was last minute. So really appreciate you taking the time. Um, you know, this has been a great live stream, kind of learning a bit more about uh, the Web3 credentialing and the future of the space. Uh, if you've got any part of, uh, parting words about what you're excited about in uh, in Web3 credentialing, uh, have at her and then we can know uh, and then we can leave the call. Yeah, definitely. Um, we have some really, really cool stuff. Uh, we actually have an announcement dropping uh, today, which uh, should be super fun for the next three months. Uh, a few more other, a few other partnership announcements coming up. Uh, a few, you know, uh, feature uh, launches that we're also doing that I can't really speak too much about. But you know, we're always building a lot of great stuff that we're doing at Galaxy. Uh, looking forward to continuing this partnership. And I hope this, you know, this discussion was helpful for uh, to everybody. If you haven't, you know, had a chance yet. Go mint your passport. Check out Galaxy. We have, you know, a ton of campaigns, a ton of incredible partners. And uh, yeah, check us out. Hopefully this was helpful. And uh, it, it's been a pleasure. Awesome. Uh, so do you have any uh, key uh, call to actions uh, or and or where's the best uh, place where users can find out a bit more about Galaxy? Absolutely. So the best place is really just going to our website, galaxy.com, G-A-L-X-E.com. Connect your wallet, create your Galaxy ID, um, see what it's all about, play around in it, find out how you can create, you know, a participate in O campaigns, NFT campaigns. Uh, you know, you'll be able to mint your passport in the Galaxy ID, you know, section, mint your passport. And yeah, follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter has incredible content. We're always pushing, that's where we're always pushing out all our latest news, um, you know, all our latest features, partnership announcements. So follow our Twitter and that will be the best way to, you know, jump into your, to your first campaign. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jake. And uh, yeah, for anyone who wants to find out a bit more about uh, Traveler, uh, traveler.com, T-R-A-V-A-L-A.com uh, for, for bookings uh, and also following us on Twitter as well. It's just uh, at traveler.com, T-R-A-V-A-L-A-C-O-M uh, to yeah, find out uh, all of the latest news about traveler.com as well. So Shane, Jake, thank you so much for today. Uh, let's uh, wrap up. Thanks, guys. Right it's been a pleasure. Thanks a lot, Jake. Thanks a lot, Jacob. Bye for now. Yep. Take care, guys. See ya. See ya.